Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. In Southampton, facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number eight, James Ward-Prozel. Number 23, Nathan Teller. Number six, Oriol Romu. And number 11, Nathan Redmond. Good luck. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, 3-5-2 is a good system only if you have top-class wing-backs because they have such a key role. They have to cover the whole length of the field, both with and without the ball. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Emerick Laporte starts alongside John Stones in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you for attending St Mary Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Bernardo Silva. It's with Joao Cancelo. De Bruyne. Rodri. Oh, nice ball. Grealish. Joao Cancelo. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And that's an important intervention. Ward Prowse. No way through. Sterling. Walker now, Rodri, Sterling has it, and can they prize them open now, De Bruyne, it needs an accurate cross, fed over towards the back post, oh but claimed by the goalkeeper, disappointing pass, Oh, they're sitting ever deeper. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? But really sticking to the task defensively. Message from Jay Cheatham. Hello, Jay. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Well, be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Mohamed Salisu and Nathan Redmond with it Oriol Romeu an incisive pass and there it is 1-0 the efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is.
So back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Walker. Smuggled away. De Bruyne on to Silva and back with Bernardo Silva has someone to play it to textbook defending inside the box well as those stats tell us Southampton have been second best in terms of possession but when they have had it they've looked so dangerous particularly when they press high up the field win the ball back in those areas and then counter attack quickly and offside unfortunately So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. They've regained possession. Silva. Sterling has it. And space for the cross. Really effective shielding under pressure. Real chance! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Ibrahima Diallo. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Oh, great vision. Well, it wasn't the easiest header to control, but still he'll be a bit disappointed. Walker. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. Rodri. Phil Foden now. Not a great pass. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Can someone get on the end of this? So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. So back in business, the second half underway, and City trying to plot a route back into this one. Foden. Well, they keep passing away. Sterling. Crossing possibilities. Walker. A deep delivery. That goalkeeper's ball. Disappointingly for them. Not messing around with that clearance. Getting in there to take it away. I'm just leaning back a bit and over the bar.
Rodri. Foden. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Phil Foden now. Sterling. Just the clearance that was called for. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Redmond. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Played towards the near post. Oh, blocked it! Ederson in goal made it look easy. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Foden. Superbly read and executed. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Redmond. Romeo. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, 2-0 now. A sloppy pass. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Substitution for Southampton. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Nathan Redmond coming onto the pitch. Number nine, Adam Armstrong. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 47, Phil Foden. Well, he dealt with that match. ball played in rather well. Gabriel Jesus. Given away by City. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Ibrahima Diallo doing well to keep possession and he takes it away well City as the stats highlight have had most of the ball but they aren't doing enough with it they need to pass it quicker play forward earlier and show more energy otherwise they won't get back into this one the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace Substitution time it is here. Number 23, Nathan Teller, to be replaced by number 17, Stuart Armstrong. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. So a throw in here. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Silva. It's with Joao Cancelo. Rodri. Stones. The ball with Rodri. 
Now with Silva. He's given us away. Armstrong. Not the pass he had in mind. Stones. Nicely timed tackle. Well, they might be onto something. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Bernardo Silva and Grealish and threading it forward well he had the chance he went for power he might be regretting that now well he got his angles all wrong there that's a poor miss Diallo The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Strong but fair tackle. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Sterling. Bernardo Silva. Joao Cancelo. The delivery. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Ward Prowse. Romeu. The ball with James Ward Prowse. And so the referee blows for full time, and it's disappointment for Manchester City. A defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance. Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.